The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Welcome back everybody, I'm Captain Dennis with Squalus Marine Divers and today we're doing a shipwreck called the Indra down in North Carolina. Today we're diving with Atlantis Dive Charters in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. When you dive in North Carolina you run the risk of dealing with getting blown out or it's too windy. And it was a little windy today so I was a little nervous. But luckily Captain Bobby and Renati were nice enough to find some place for us to go today. Water's really warm to what I'm used to up here in Long Island Sound. And uh, here we are. We're tied into the stern of the ship. Now this ship is 328 foot long. So it's a big girl. The game plan is we're going to swim out along the starboard side. Make our way around the bow. Come in over on the port bow and then maybe do some penetration. Well, this little guy, who I think is a sea bass, decided to come out and see what we were up to. This looks like a, a big valve. Can't really tell. As soon as I come up over the gunnel, I come across this guy. The sand tiger. Just hanging out. Pretty docile sharks. You know, just because something is a shark doesn't mean it's going to make a beeline for you and take your leg off. You can see here he's kind of just... Oh, man, divers. All right, I'm going to go somewhere else. And that's exactly what he does. See you later, Sand Tiger. So now we're on the outside of the ship, making our way towards the bow of the ship. We're heading up the starboard side of the boat. And for you non-boat people, that's the right side of the boat. And we come across these two big tanks, storage tanks of some sort. or I'm not really sure, but they look like tanks to me. Heading towards the bow, we come across this, which looks to me like another boat. I don't know if it was a lifeboat or a chase boat, but it definitely looks like another boat to me. I'm sure every one of these ships had cargo. But I wasn't expecting to come across this. There it is. It's a bike frame. For sale, one bike frame needs tender loving care. Tire included. Do not have rims. And here we have another bicycle. This one has both its tires.
Even down in North Carolina, the fish are as friendly as the people. Everybody came out to say hello and see how we were doing. And we will continue on our journey towards the bow of the ship. Like I said, this is a big boat. As we swim up to the holes along the side of the hull, because of the wave action up on the surface, there's a surge that just pulls you in and then pushes you out. And it was something very different for me. And here we are in the bow of the ship. And there's this crazy fish. Look, check him out with the little fin going crazy. I'm not I don't know what he's called. Just off the port bow, I find this anchor. It's probably about 70 pounds. And I bet it's not from this boat because it would probably be way too small to keep it from moving. So yeah, it's not from this boat. So here we are back on the top sides of the ship. I stick my head in here and I just happen to see this guy over here in the corner. It's an oyster toadfish. Basically an angry dragon slash tadpole fish. But they're so cool. In this compartment, I notice this barracuda, and he's hanging right in the middle of this area. And I wanted to try to get in there and get some footage of him, get a good look at him. But what was strange was he, he wasn't afraid of me. He, he didn't want to move. So this was probably his neck of the woods, and he wasn't moving for anybody. And you really don't want to get too close to a fish with teeth that doesn't want to move because he's standing his ground. So I left him alone and then I went around the other side and I took a peek at him from a distance where you can really see what he looks like. Barracuda. So we make our way back towards the stern and I come across this section which has got a whole pile of cables and wires or hoses I'm not sure what they are but it's a big spaghetti mess and Here's another internal compartment. Now keep in mind, these are artificial reefs and they're designed to give fish a place to hang out. And as you can see, there's some spade fish. I think that's what they are. Just hanging out. So we're going to make our way up and out back onto the deck of the ship. And here we have some more Atlantic spade fish. These look like some kind of pulley system. It could be a winch or 
rope or a crane or something like that. This is closer to the stern, so I don't think it's to raise the anchor. Well, I'm sorry, folks, but we've reached the end of our dive, and it's time for us to make our way back up to the boat. As we get up to the surface, you can see that it's a little lumpy out, and this boat's getting tossed around just a bit. I'd like to invite you to come and see us at SquallSmarine.com, SquallSmarine Divers on Facebook, or maybe we'll bump into you underwater. Until then, I'm Captain Dennis.